Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It is your boy, Colin the White, back at it again on Eternal Evolution. Uh, today's video is going to be a little guide for low spenders. So, if you are a low spender, which is, I, I guess it really depends on your budget, but I would have to say around 25 to 50 bucks at most. Um, I consider myself a low spender. I say like the upper high because I do, I guess depending on like the week or the event, I tend to spend a little more. So around 50 bucks a month. Don't tell the wife, okay? Oh yeah, no way bro, like, oh yeah, no way bro, like, bro, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's like the best thing on here oh my god that's great okay 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 sorry 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 let's get back to the video um so uh 25 to 50 bucks a month let's start with like 25 because like it could depend like people could spend like five a week you know or someone could just spend 25 like this like you could just flat out just spend 25 so let's get started here if you're a low spender let's let's just say like like the average person is gonna spend about like five a week so if you're gonna spend five a week i would have to say uh this could depend on the deals here so on fatty's treasure sometimes you get some pretty decent deals like this is actually not too bad you know what i'm saying like this is pretty good like i would I, I almost got this but then i realized i don't want it um also the weekend pack this is actually very good so like if you're like a low spender i think this would be like the best thing for you to get um it's the weekend pack so it comes out every weekend you get at least three to ten limited cards and a few of these and on top of that advanced recruitment cards the reason why advanced recruitment cards is very important is because the hero event or the hero rally um it's not active anymore but the hero rally is when you can pull advanced recruitment tickets and limited tickets and then just um then you get like exclusive rewards if you you know save up and then spend like for example 500 and then you get like a free triple s of your choice or if you get 700 you get like a bailey um so i would have to say the weekend pack would be good because of that and also you kind of just get like a bunch of little things you know but also like other things like for example the two dollar bundle here for the gear event you know i think that is honestly worth it um just a two dollar one though because if you go to where the fuck where, where is it i found it so if you if you if you see here so this is two bucks um you get you get your your eight hour xp and your eight hour rope lights which is cool which is cool but you mainly get it for the gears um if you tend to go over here um to like the ten dollar one this is kind of like a ripoff because if you think about it you're getting five recruitment limited cards three gears and that is not even like a guaranteed chance that you can like get one of those just like regular packs what well, you could spend ten dollars and get 10 limited tickets so i just feel like that is not a good deal so like i said before just this one is a pretty good deal um if you go to the value packs they're kind of trash honestly um they're 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 pretty awful <laughs> this is this is probably like the worst deal in the store <laughs> Oh, who would spend 30 bucks on this i'm sorry eternal level come on man like who the fuck on just like random ass cars like bro i have so many of these man look how many of these i have ain't no way that's worth 30 bucks <laughs> it's so bad i'm sorry if someone oh my god but anyway anyway um yeah these are pretty horrible deals oh my god i can't even imagine if someone bought this like that is horrible but anyway anyway i'm getting kind of getting off track oh Ooh, the monthly pass so if you're like a low spender too the monthly pass is probably even a better deal than the weekend pack because you get so like whenever you purchase you get 10 limited tickets and on top of that you get daily two of these two of these uh like these two this is this and this is garbage it's mainly for this and that is pretty much 60 um advanced recruitment tickets and if you're like beginning of the game that's actually pretty good actually like um like like rolling for advanced recruitment cards is not bad at all if you're new um even even i get intrigued by oh well, like i kind of just got topped off by um on all of my my heroes that are non triple s so the advanced recruitment cards are kind of just like 
only for the event. Oh, I have too many. Look, I have 317. But yeah, no, the, the monthly pass is a good deal. And even if uh, if you want to do like, like the small one, like this one too, this is pretty good. I think, if anything, I think this is a better deal because you get gems. Um, the gems are very important. So if you get 500 times 30, that's like 6,000 gems, if I'm not mistaken. That's just on the top of my head. And on top of that, you get another 1,000. That's actually pretty good because the most... Like, the worst thing that could happen to you on your account is pretty much if you just run out of diamonds. And, like, if you get the monthly pass for, like, five bucks, you kind of keep, like, like, it's kind of like, kind of like supply and demand, you know what I mean? Like, you're still getting some diamonds, but, like, while you spend diamonds every day, you're not just going to keep losing them, you know what I mean? Um, which I feel like that's, that's really important. But... That's pretty much it for like the low spender. Um, I would say if you're spending like 50 bucks a month, let's just say me, for example, what I do is I, for example, bought this. And the reason why this is important is because this, it, it gives you up to like 14,000 gems. Like that's a lot. Like that's pretty fucking good. And on top of that, you get, well, this is kind of new. Um, they kind of recently added um, this, the triple S in here, which is makes it even a better deal. It used to be uh it used to be a non triple s character and it was kind of just just garbage seeing it and so um like this 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 is only 15 bucks and honestly like if if you were like 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 the 25 dollar spender and like you just didn't know what to get and what you got like 15 20 bucks just hanging around like i think this is a pretty good deal as well um it also may depend like what stage you are in the game um so for example like i said um before for example if you were to just flat out spend 25 bucks on this like that's uh, this is actually not bad at all but for me this is kind of a ripoff because i'm end game like i don't need this i don't need that that is what i would get it for and i don't need these because i max max them out this is all right and that's good but then i actually am pretty good with my soul potions so everything in that bundle is just trash besides the limited tickets um but yeah there's just little things in this game that like you may find like, like if you really felt like you were lucky maybe this would be a decent deal but we're talking about low spenders here like someone that would just spend a few bucks um the basic packs um, this like this basic pack is actually very good if you are like brand new to the game um, It's kind of like the it kind of reminds me of like the weekend pack, but Not as good So if you're if you're to spend like up to 25 bucks a month at most then just wait for the weekend pack But if you're like 50 bucks, you know, it wouldn't hurt to get this um, This stuff is not this this one. I don't know This is pretty I don't really like this deal because they they say you could get two of these but you could li literally just recharge it for 50 gems 150 gems and so it's actually i don't see that as, as like a good deal um i got it a couple times because um i was grinding for one of the uh for uh on one of the bell events like i would spend like five bucks a day on this and bro i literally got i literally did anything i was it was terrible um um, but yeah, I was trying to just go for that, but didn't really go well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for like the guide here. There's not really much you could, there's actually quite a bit you could spend as a low spender, but you just kind of just pick and choose on like what, what you should get. And I'm sorry if I did get off topic on the video a little bit, but, um, I just kind of like went over like what is good. I don't really care too much what is bad because like what you're if you're a low spender you're not even gonna look at the hundred bucks not one bit and honestly um all everything that I listed is pretty much good in their own way and it could really depend on like where you are in like your account or like what kind of demand you need um for your account and so you could always just pick and choose it's not gonna be like that forever um as like you grow your uh, account uh, things will get more important things will get less important and so you just kind of just base it off that and honestly this game this game gives you a lot of stuff as is and so if you're like free to play and stuff you know you're you're you're, you're it, you could actually get up here and so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed and let me know about any feedback down below and yeah guys i really enjoyed making this video for you guys and uh yeah 
I will see you guys next time.